Double G Engineering are a subcontract machine shop based in Coventry. Now they've just invested in their first ever sliding head machine. This is new technology. So was that transition all that easy? We should have gone for this machine quite a while ago. We, um, we, we bought a Miano lathe, um, thinking the, the diametric capacity would be a benefit. Uh, with hindsight, it was the length of the jobs that was a problem. So by having a slider, it enables us to do long, slender work, um, accurately, milled, come off complete, perfect, perfect for us. So what was your concerns then? Because you've naturally gone from the same brand, Citizen Miano, Citizen sliding head machine. So what were your main concerns when going for this? Ease of programming, if I'm honest, a uh, whole new animal. For what I've been told, uh, or what I was told, Forget what you know about fixed head turning, sliding head's a different animal. That was a concern for us. Um, we knew with the uh, Miano, with the Wizard software, we knew it was good, but having had the Wizard software on, on this Citizen machine, it's been unbelievable. The ease of programming is amazing, the software is amazing. It's, it's just revolutionized the way we do stuff. Right then, Louis, Rob tells me that you're in charge of this machine. How are you finding it? I am, yeah. I've been uh, operating this for the last couple of months now. I've been really enjoying it. But this is not your background, is it? No, I'm actually a product design background, so CAD base and designing sort of things like that. So how was that transition then into kind of becoming a machinist, looking after a whole machine on your own? Yeah, I mean, I've operated uh, in the past two axis lays, but never programmed anything like that. But the big thing with this was the wizard software going into it that the uh, prompt based software so format it and it'll give you all the prompts and just fill in the information you need to do and it really helps you out a lot. And how has that made your life easier? Give me an example. Oh it's just ridiculously easy. Just, I've, I had no background obviously didn't know any G codes or anything like that. It helps. I've learned loads from it just from the way it formats it. But even stuff like this part here when I was doing the eccentric turning which yeah. I didn't think I'd be doing for a while. No. This is some of the easiest bit of programming on there. It's uh, really, really helpful. Just give it the offset from the centre line, the OD you turn into, and away it goes. Pretty much it. And is there anything then, it, well, OK, that's the software, but anything like hardware-wise that you're enjoying about using the machine? Just the fact you're having components coming up whole rather than one up, two up, and three up operations. It's, it's fantastic. So it saved you a lot of time. It did, yes. And I bet Rob's getting you to do more and more work <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's another benefit of the wizard is once one machine, once it's set up and running like that, because it's offline based, I can go back to the computer and start programming the next one. So cutting down on the setup time, the downtime. Well, I think it should be said that, you know, the guy who's wrote this software is he's at Citizen, Stuart, and um, so he understands the machines, he understands machining, and he's just made the software really, really user friendly, which, you know, uh, from someone who's uh, a virgin to sliding head, it's just made uh, that transition really, really easy. We were quite worried about how, how quickly we get up to speed with, with program this machine, and it's been, it's been fantastic. I've, you know, I'm, I'm chuffed to bits with how, how quick um, the operator, who, who isn't from an engineering background, has, uh, has got to grips with this machine. And, and that's down to the software, um, w w which has been written by you know, uh, someone who works at Citizen. You know, he knows the machines, he's wrote the software, and, and, it's, and it's, you know, the, proof, the proof's in the pudding. It works, and it's producing quality parts quickly, which is what we need. You know? Parts on the machine, off the machine, as quick as possible. What direction do you think then this machine is going to take you in then? Well, I'm hoping to have a shop full of them in a few years' time. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. It would be great, yeah. I mean, look, we, we, we've evolved, you know. We, we, there's a lot of soul searching in buying a, a, a machine. They're, you know, they're not cheap machines. You hope you can fill the capacity. Um, every machine we've bought, you know, we've been able to fill its capacity. So if we can fill its capacity, I'll buy another one. If I can fill that capacity, I'll buy another one. You know, that, that's the progression. Um, that's the dream, I suppose. But um, you know, who, who knows? You know, we're, 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 we're a jobbing shop. We rely on, you know, we're a subcontract shop. We rely on people providing us with work. If we've got the work, we'll buy the machines to, to fulfill them orders. The machine's fantastic. It's going to revolutionize the type of parts we do. Like I say, we, we probably should have bought one years earlier. Mm -hmm.